Sato. Now let's discuss the first question of Code Kaze round two. The question was Bob and his strings. Let's take a sample test case and let's try to find how we'll answer that question. The question, uh, the question's test case is the sample test case that was given to us was B A B C and D D C. Now, when I talk about this sample test case, what I can see is that the indices corresponding to it are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the thing that was asked uh, from me in this question was that take two any similar occurrences of uh, similar occurrences of these characters. So uh, if, if I take any two similar occurrences, let's say three and three are similar occurrences of the type C, right, of the character C. D and D are similar occurrences of character D. B and B are similar occurrences of type B. I had to find maximum di distance between two similar occurrences of a string. So uh, in this, what I have to do is I have to see what is the ma maximum distance between two similar occurrences. The maximum distance is between C and C. So what I'll do is I'll have to print if C is at index three and this C is at index six. So I have to print six minus three, which would be equal to three. So that's how this question was to be solved. I didn't have to uh, write three. I had to write uh, three minus one. I had to count the number of characters between them. Right. So what I need to do for this question is what I need to do for this question to solve this question. I'll take an array of size 26. I'll take an array of size 26. This is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. So on and so forth. The last index would be 25 because my array is of size 26. The last index would be 25. I'll map each character with a location. How will I do that? I know the ASCII implementation or the ASCII equivalent of character A is equal to 97. For the B, it's equal to 98. So on and so forth. For Z, it is equal to 122. They are kept. Uh, they are given a consecutive set of 26 ASCII numbers. So from that, what I'll do, I'll take each character and I'll subtract it with A. Whenever I perform any addition or subtraction on these characters, so it's always done on their ASCII implementation. So let's suppose I get B over here, B minus A, is equivalent to uh, when I subtract these two, it will subtract 97, 98 minus 97, and that would give me one. So I'll subtract B with A, then it will always take me to this index one. If I subtract A from A, it would always take me to index zero. If I subtract C from A, it will take me to index two. If I subtract uh, three from two, it will take me to index three. If I subtract D from A, it will take me to index three, right? So that's how I'll map each character with a location. Now, if I talk about this, initially, what I'll do is I'll put minus one everywhere. I'll put minus one everywhere. Minus one indicates that this character has not occurred till now. This character has not occurred till now. So then now let me traverse this array. Let me traverse this array. So first I'll move to B. The index corresponding to B is one. Because when I subtract it with A, 98 minus 97 will come as one. So what I can see is uh, the value kept over here is minus one. That means it has not occurred till now. So I'll update minus one and write and, and I'll write the index corresponding to B. The index corresponding to B over here is zero. So I'll write zero over here. What I'll do is I'll store the first occurrence of each character. I'll store the first occurrence of each character. Now let's move to A. The location corresponding to A is this. Since it's minus one, I'll update it. B. B will again take me to this place. This is non minus one. What does non minus one indicate is non minus one indicates that it is uh, it has been visited earlier. 
it has been visited earlier. So non minus one indicates that it has been visited earlier. So what I'll do is uh, uh, this means that it has come for the second time. I'll take this as the second occurrence and this as the first occurrence and I'll uh, uh, print the uh, I'll take the difference between these two. The difference between two these two is two. The difference between these two is two. And the number of characters between the between two and zero would be equal to difference of these two minus one, which is equal to one. Since this is the maximum difference so far, so I'll keep a variable uh, called maximum difference. And this maximum difference would be equal to one. I'll keep it equal to one. Right now, let's move forward. C the location corresponding to C is blank. It's equal to minus one. So I'll update and I'll cut three over here. Let's move to D. The location corresponding to D is minus one right now. So I'll keep four over here. The location corresponding to D is four. So what I'll do, I'll take the difference between five and four. It's equal to one. But the number of characters between D and D would be equal to this difference minus one, which would be equal to zero. Since zero is not greater than maximum difference so far, so I will not update it. Let's move to the next character. The next character is C. C is at location six and the index corresponding to C in the array would be equal to two since two is already non minus one. So I'll take difference between six and three, which is equal to three. The number of character between them would be equal to this difference minus one. This would be equal to two. Since this is greater than the max difference so far, so I'll update my max difference. And when I traverse my string further, I'll reach to a location which is beyond uh, the string, which which uh, this means that I've exhausted or completely traversed the string. So I have got the maximum difference also. I have got the maximum distance also. This is my answer. Right. I hope you have understood how we have converted and how we have traversed the string and how, how we have loca located each character to a location and how we have uh, updated the first occurrence of a string. And whenever it's occurring again, we have taken the difference and we have updated the max difference as we went on to traverse the string. I hope now you will be able to convert into code. You will convert. I am hope you will be able to convert this logic into code. So that was all in this question. Thank you.